Okay. So, new a new home. Starting at the back, we have the party deck. It's an eight foot by eight foot deck. This folds back in. And to get in and out, there's stairs we can mount here. It has a sliding door. And a retractable awning. Then you have your first outside area with its own awning. That can go in or out separate. The back entrance, which goes right into the garage. We modified it with an electronic lock, so you can lock and unlock it with a key fob or with a code on the touchpad so we don't have to carry keys. This is one of three slide outs. We have a mount here where we can hang a TV to watch TV outside. We have speakers that connect into the interior stereo system. Satellite or cable hookup here and outside power here. Front door also has the keyless entry, so we don't need a key to get in when we're going out if we want to just leave it. And we have our pass-through storage. This goes all the way through, and basically we're keeping outside stuff in here. Um, extra power cable, colors for our grill, outside table, carpet if we wanted to put a rug down. We also have a central vacuum system in the camper. Um, there's no carpeting in the camper but I'll show you how it works inside. But for the outside you can hook up a hose so you can vacuum your tow vehicle or your outside carpet if you get a lot of leaves on it and so forth. This is just a holder for a 30 pound propane tank. You can toss under there. front here, this is the, actually the generator compartment, but we got it without a generator. And I'll show you why in a minute, but instead we use it. We have a pellet grill we carry. We have leveling blocks in case we're on level and need more room on the ground. Um, this is a jack to jack the trailer up. We have some chairs up here, some grill tools. So we use this as a storage compartment instead of a generator. This compartment is batteries. And this is why we're not going to have a generator. In here, right now we have two lithium batteries. There'll be two more lithium batteries that stack on top, and then an inverter that converts the battery power into regular AC household power, 110 volt. So we'll be able to run the camper for about three days without actually having to plug into anything. And then on this side, we have a slide out for our bedroom, a slide out for our kitchen, and all of our water hookups are in the pass through on the other side, which I've already done some modifications to the way you're supposed to hook up. This is for pressure water system from the campground. And this one that's blocked off is to uh, fill your water tank. We have a hundred gallon water storage. Instead of doing that, what I've done is I've replumbed the system. All the water goes from here into this filter right here which is a five micron carbon filter. So it removes chlorine and bad taste and filters everything down to five microns. And then from here, I can switch from these valves and go to, by turning this one on, I can fill the tank and turn this one off or the way it's set right now is for city. Right? So I can control and that way, any water going into the camper, whether it's going city water or into the tank is filtered first. Whereas, 
Normally there's no filtration. We also have an outside shower or really a bike washing station. I don't think you really want to stand out here and take a shower. And then uh, our waste hookup is underneath and there's another one in the back. So the big outside feature, this big black spot on the front of the camper is actually a full picture window in the master bedroom. So we'll show you that from the inside. All right, so why don't we go in and we'll show you what we've got. So this is the living room and the kitchen. Uh, most toy haulers um, combine those. You don't get a separate living room from kitchen. But we have 18 cubic foot refrigerator. This will run off propane or electric. So if we're off grid, we can still keep everything cold. Um, it's uh, quite large. Uh, double the size of the last camper. We have a full stove. Uh, RV stoves are a little smaller, but it's still big enough to do a pan of lasagna, which being Italian is the only important thing. Storage underneath of both of them. Full residential size microwave storage above. Uh, we have the granite stone backsplash. Um, under cabinet lighting. Uh, plenty of cabinet space. Now we have this set up as our breakfast station with the toaster and our coffee pot, but these have room to go inside so that um, when we travel we don't have to worry about them bouncing around. This is an RV ice maker and this we actually have to store under the bed. Um, big farmer size sink with uh, a grate cover so you can actually run water right through it to rinse dishes or you can peel it back and put something else in. And then we have a very large food pantry that has uh, lighting so we can see what we're actually trying to find. Uh, on the other side, I guess this would be the dividing line for the living room. We have three reclining seats. This middle section does fold down with additional cup holders if we wanted to. Um, and this is our lovely blanket of Sean that uh, our dear friends Tyler and Morgan gave us for Christmas. Um, how they were able to get it so fast, uh, I'll never know, but they we got it for us with some of our favorite pictures of Sean. Um, over here we have the entertainment center. Comes with a 50 inch uh, LCD, uh, LED TV. Um, I've added some uh, stuff to it. I actually use an old iPhone that's connected to a Wi-Fi system that I have in the camper that we can stream YouTube or Netflix or any streaming service that we want. Um, I can also connect to the computer and Melinda uses this as a second monitor when she's working from the camper. Um, I have here a small media player with a hard drive. I've burned all our DVDs down. I have right now about 300 DVDs on this one small little hard drive here. Um, so we can watch movies without having to carry DVDs with us. Um, and then here I have a uh, leveler system that tells me when I'm backing in how close to level I am. As long as I'm within three inches, all I have to do is push a button and the camper will level itself at that point. So we don't have to play around with driving it up on blocks. But to do that, I've got to get close and this lets me get close. It actually connects to my phone and uh, shows me how in or out of level the camper is. And then I added uh, USB to power everything here. And uh, oh, my friend Candy, because she got us both the leveling system and the power supply with the USB. All right, let's uh, take a look at the bedroom. So with most fifth wheels, we have three steps to come up. And then once you come into the bedroom, uh, we have... Uh, what they call an RV king. It's actually halfway between a king and a queen. Um, 
There are areas on the internet where you can get sheets that fit it properly, but you do have to hunt. And this is that uh, picture window I was talking about. When you're laying in bed, you can actually kind of see up and see the stars. Um, and if you don't want everybody to see the moon while you're getting changed, it does have a privacy shade to block it off. Um, this side has a slightly larger uh, um, nightstand, so it has two drawers in it and cabinets on both sides. Uh, blanket storage up here, plus I put a little basket to keep my uh, uh, sweatpants and sweatshirts in. Um, and then we have a full wardrobe closet. There's uh, three doors with hanging space up top, and then three drawers and a large drawer at the bottom. So we basically figure we can put three weeks worth of clothes and extra shoes um, in here, maybe even four weeks, which will be plenty when we go full time. And then for any additional storage under the bed, we have um, some chairs, but there's also room to put a tub with uh, things like winter clothing or stuff like that that you wouldn't ordinarily have while camping. Has its own air conditioning system for the bedroom. And this is the Wi-Fi it comes partly built in. I had to add some technology to it, but there's an antenna on the roof that I can use to pick up Wi-Fi and rebroadcast it. And in here, there's a, a SIM card um, for a Wi-Fi hotspot from AT&T. Currently, we'll be switching to Verizon when our current plan runs out. Um, that provides Wi-Fi to the whole camper, so we don't have to constantly connect to different Wi-Fis. We connect everything to this, which uh, we call CoastyNet. It's our Wi-Fi. And then everything from <coughs> there just gets connected to one. Um, in here, we have a bathroom with a... Pretty big shower. And you can see it also has a skylight above the shower, which is kind of nice. Gives you plenty of light when you're showering, unless it's night, but even then we have lots of lights in there. And oh, I also added a water sanitizer. So we have the water filter that you saw earlier. This then sanitizes the water, and that gives us um, uh, pure drinking water. It's as safe as home. And then this is the garage. It, it serves three different functions. It serves as a guest bedroom. We have a queen-size bunk on top. This bed folds into a bunk on the bottom, so double queens. Or... You can set it up as it is right now, as a table and bench seats. Uh, great for playing cards or place inside to have dinner. Um, it lifts up and down on an electric jack, so we don't have to move anything. And then the third thing we can do is fold it flat, lift this up to the ceiling, and then we park two motorcycles in here. We have the ability to screw our wheel chocks for our motorcycles down into this floor. Um, we also, you can see, have a TV back here and washer and dryer hookup. And in case we're not roughing it too much, a half bath in the back. So 37 foot RV with a bath and a half. And then to go out back, we have the deck I showed you earlier with sliding glass doors, which gives you a screen porch and an awning. So, that's her RV.